don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vada Fly. We used to rapping like that. No, uh, 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 goods, 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 goods. Bring it, bring it in. I don't even want any intro. Take a seat. We gotta speak. That's enough. You, you, I, and I respect your handle. I respect your channel. Goods is my man. I just wanna let y'all know. I rock with Goods. We both from the Bronx. He's leveled up his life. He's doing his media thing. And I said it a while ago. I said Goods has the ability to get artists that regular bloggers or media cannot get because he came through the lion's den. He's cool with Lux, he's cool with Clips, he's cool with Conceited, he's cool with Mook, he's cool with everybody. He can literally pick up the phone and bring you content in no time. This is what he can do because he has that distinct advantage. And also, being a legendary battle rapper, one that's been doing this for a while, so he knows the ins and outs, he knows the questions to ask, he's funny, he can crack jokes on people, and he brings really good content. He had conceded on his show, What's Goods. First of all, make sure you peep What's Goods. He drops it on Caffeine, and then he drops it on YouTube. Don't go watch the bootleg versions. You know what I'm saying? People be snatching his whole live stream. Now, if you take clips, you know what I'm saying? Like a clip, 20, 30 seconds, maybe a minute, to explain what your point is, there's nothing wrong with that. That happens everywhere. That happens on ESPN, that happens on Undisputed, Fox Sports 1. Every single sports channel, that happens. Like people will grab a clip to explain the dialogue of what they're talking about. But taking a whole show, like a live stream is one thing. But you take someone's whole show and use it. I seen Goods was a little agitated about that happening when you use somebody's whole stream on your YouTube channel. Because now you're digging into their pocket and getting bread off of them. So I understood that. Um, he has Conceited on there. Conceited is talking about a lot of things. Now, Conceited, is a he had a respectable battle rap career. I would say, you know, he's the first punchline for punchline, punchline. One of the first, you know what I'm saying? There was others, but he was one of the first bigger names to do that. You know what I'm saying? Clicking, clicking like Dorothy's heels and like this, like that. But as battle rap went on, Conceited had a lot of dope battles. But he had to reform his shit, you know what I'm saying? He, he reformed it to the slow it down, I diss you, Quran, when I'm Muslim, things like that. He had the battle with Sue Surf, Rajan Cox joint. Um, he had the battle with Goods. So a lot of the old heads, not too old, but like that was around from the DVD era from when it transitioned to the URL Smack era. Remember Conceited, you know what I'm saying? Like Conceited had a lot of battles. Jesse James was one of his most famous joints. Um, and his last battle that he had, I believe it was against Deuce. It was a one rounder. Then he had to battle with uh, my man on King of the Dot. He did like uh, Dumbfounded, did like eight, nine million views, something crazy, right? Conceited was one of the guys that transitioned his career and blew up. He did what you are supposed to do with battle rap. He has transitioned to the point where he doesn't really have to work a job. He transitioned into entertainment. I told y'all the other day I'm retiring from my job at the end of the year. I've been there for a while and I'm eligible to retire, but I'm transitioning into another phase. You are supposed to use what you got to get where you want. You know what I'm saying? You build, you elevate. If you're in the same spot, 20 years later, then what have you really gained? I've only been doing this for like four or five years and I'm in a position where I don't have to go to a nine to five every day anymore. But that's a blessing. But I, I totally respected what he was saying when he was talking about transitioning. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, I, I, I went to Wild and Now, I, I, I upped my level. I don't have to be working. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna, he was talking about how battle rappers I mean, how real rappers, that's their job. Like Lil Baby and the Baby, and like Michael Blackston when he jumps in front of a camera or Kevin Hart, that's their job. He was saying that, and I, resp I, I totally dug it. I picked up what he was putting down because I'm like, yo, it makes a lot of sense. If you're working for a multi-million dollar company or a company that's getting a whole lot of money and you're not making enough money to put yourself or your family in the position that they need to be in or the people that work for you, then what are you doing it for? I remember when I first started, uh, I never got paid, but now I'm in a position where I pay the people that work for me, like the Showtime SPs and other people that work to help me do what I do, 
they get paid, you know what I'm saying? Because you should be looking out for people that look out for you. That's just the only way it goes. Showtime SP is way too talented to do this for free. People ask me all the time. Um, so, he talked about Rum Nitty and conceded. This is where, just, 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 just. No, 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 don't, don't sugarcoat it. Do you think you could beat Rum Nitty? Yes or no? I don't want no in between, no gray area. Do you think you could beat Rum Nitty? I mean, I, I, Are you gonna beat him? Are you gonna beat him? Yes, yes, okay. Yes. Are you gonna beat him? But I mean, are I, you? I, but just again, scared. But, 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 but are scared, you, you gonna beat him? Real. No. Please, are you gonna beat him? Real. Look, he's my favorite. I still don't hate his delivery, but he's my favorite right now with with the bars. But I'm still the father of this shit. There's can, still shit he can does. He fuck with and I'm you? like, nope. He should have said this instead. Said it like this to make it make sense. Added this. So I'm still, nigga, the most meticulous with this shit. But he is my favorite right now. So he would be the one I come back for. It will be. I mean, after, of course, I would have to, before I take a Tay Rock or Rum, like I said, I would have to need, need uh, some sort of a tune up. Yeah. But, but after your tune up, Rum Nitty can't beat you. No. Okay. Nigga, nobody really can, to be honest. And, and when it comes to something like like that, you know, it's just a hard battle to judge. It's just like, see, some, somebody, somebody like a me and Rum, like two punches that's just gonna, nigga, just straight punch, it's not mm -hmm. gonna be, it's, nobody's gonna lose. Let me out, Trey. Let me out. This is what I had to get out the whip. You said that you don't like Rum Nitty's flow. You said that he's you say he's your favorite right now, but then you slipped in a little, but I don't like his flow. You slipped it in there. You know what I'm saying? You got a deceptive way of speaking. You from New York. You from New York. I know how it is, you know what I'm saying? That 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 New York slick talk. And then you said that he could say a line like this instead of saying it like that. Like he could say it better and he could do this and that third better, right? And then you were saying that. Rum Nitty's the only person that could be mentioned in the same breath as you. That's not true. Still do it on a high level. With you coming in right now as a puncher, you got niggas that's like Rum Nitty ass. That's, no, no, no. Right? Rum right? Nitty's the only nigga. Rum Nitty's the only nigga that, can, that, that, that you can ever say in my presence. That's it. You can't mention anybody else. Aff? Rum Nitty Crazy is the only puncher. nigga you can mention. But I hear you. I, listen, I hear you. What I'm saying is this, though. The way you punch and the, and the way they like the punching now is totally different. I think you'll sound outdated if you came now. This is my personal opinion. Which is, I mean, I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I mean, it, it, but I, it, I'm not trying to play. I'm not trying to play you, but I'm just saying for I think. Understood. And now, if it came to a point where I would go back to battle rap, obviously I would have to see whatever transcends to the crowd by still doing me. It would just be whatever's going on with C O N spin on it. That is not true. Respectfully, Av punches right now, Av punches at a way better and higher rate than you did when you were here. I'm sorry. You may be the first to do it, but you're not the best to do it. We, as media and as people who talk about battles and things like that, they often say, Oh, y'all never battled before, so y'all shouldn't be knowing the, but the, but the battle, the battle, the battle. Listen. I don't have to be an active battle rapper or ever battle rap to know if a punchline hit, to know cadence, to know how uh, the metaphor is set up, to know how a whole scheme is set up, to know if, what, what filler is. This is not football. This is not basketball. It's all a mind. It's a mind thing. Now, battlers who have battled can obviously have a good perspective on battle rap because that's what goods can talk about that's what gems can talk about that's what math hoffa can talk about that's what swave on the store order salute to them can talk about because they've been in the ring but you cannot tell me 31 million views later that a person myself who doesn't have battles does not know what we're talking about are you crazy this is what we do get the fuck out of here so check this out b so conceited basically says that Av cannot be mentioned in the same. Are you are you bugging right now? Are you bugging right now? I know you have not been around for a minute, but my nigga, we remember you. You you act like because sometimes conceded and he's he lives up to his name. My nigga conceded will act like he battled in 1978. My nigga, we remember you. <laughs> you, you, you're not that far removed. I mean, you're far removed because you don't battle as often as you used to. You know what I'm saying? Um, if I look it up, I think Hitman might have been might have been your last URL battle, and that was some years ago. 
Um, but come on, fam. Like this is this is a this is an easy one, man. You said that uh, you needed a tune-up battle before you could take. Uh, if you was to come back, you were saying that you would need a tune-up battle. Well, here's the deal. Won't you take your tune-up battle versus Av? You know what I'm saying? Like you could take your tune-up battle versus Av, and then after that, you could see Rum Nitty. I honestly think that if you took a tune-up battle versus Av, I don't think you'll get the Rum Nitty. I think all of that would be stopped right there on the spot. I honestly think that if you took a tune-up battle versus versus Av, I don't think you would get to Rum Nitty. Honestly. Like, the game has changed so much, and I'm looking at my phone because I'm trying to make sure that I got these uh, this, this battle right. So, you and Hitman seven years ago, right? And you got you and B Magic, you know what I'm saying? Y'all did crazy views, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you, when you think about the numbers that you guys do, you guys do so, you guys back then, but it was no app, it was none of that, you know what I'm saying? You did four million six years ago, Versus B Magic, you know what I'm saying, and then you did the other joint versus Hitman. So yeah, do we can't even really compare the views because there's so many different ways now. You got live streams, you got uh, the app. Niggas don't even be releasing battles on YouTube no more and shit. So you got so so. The fact of the matter is, battle rap is compounded now because shits is not being released released on YouTube, and even when they do get released on YouTube, they do views. But niggas have already seen the battle on Caffeine Live. Niggas have already seen the battle on the app. So there's so many layers of where people have already seen it, which just means that the views are gonna be so big from back in the day. So for instance, we knew that some crazy battle was dropping on Christmas. There was no app. There was none of that shit. When them battles was dropping, them numbers was clicking because there was no, there was no other option back then. That was the only way niggas had to see battles. But now niggas got the app. Niggas got recaps, niggas got everything that can help benefit the viewer now. You know what I'm saying? Some more viewer fin friendly, and then you paying, you know what I'm saying? We paying. So by the time, YouTube is like the last of the last, you know what I'm saying? I think niggas dropped Rum Nitty vs. K-Shine like two months ago. That shit happened a year ago. But then the YouTube niggas who really don't want to buy no apps, then they ain't doing none of that shit. They were hungry for that battle. They wanted it. So you still got a, a good group of people who fuck with battle rap, but they ain't fucking with battle rap to where they're gonna be putting money into it, spending eight dollars a month and buying apps. I know niggas that's like that. That's like, yo, I fuck with the battle rap shit, but I don't fuck with it enough to be paying. Like, I ain't paying for this shit. I watch it when it come out, and then the ones that just watch the recaps and catch the battles later. But conceited, bro, bro, bro. Niggas is happy that you got your shit together. Trust me, niggas. I, I for one, like, I got this crib. Then I got my crib where I'm at in, in up north. Trust me, I'd be happy to see a black man make it. I do not have no issue with that. But to think that Av can't, what? Do you hear the content that he be talking about? I don't think Conceited has ever watched the Av battle. That, that may be the reason. I don't think he's ever watched the Av battle. If he saw Av versus Chess, he would be speaking a different tone. If he saw Av versus JC, he'd be speaking a different tone. But I think Conceited is so far removed that he don't even be thinking that niggas have took his shit, flipped it, remixed it, and I'm just saying with the punchlines and shit. And honestly, it was really derivative from Cassidy because he mentioned that you know Cassidy was one of the people he looked up to and shit. But that shit has been flipped so many times. So many niggas ain't saying that Palm the Fifth. Leave your face melted like lasagna dish. The fucking uh, cock in the sig, my chain full of ice like the top of the fridge. They ain't rapping like that no more. Niggas is not rapping like that. You know what I'm saying? I promise you, that's not the way niggas rap nowadays. It doesn't happen. They got so many, like, Av style is so compounded. Like, he, they'll say like on certain things. He'll say, I'll take a visit to the Rebel Fine Arsenal on top of the bus like Twisted Metal. Like they be like his 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 flow is mad different. You know what I'm saying? You find a knife in Kareem's hand, I'm Nino at the meeting. They don't say find a knife in Kareem's hand like Nino at the meeting. He's like Nino at the They've taken like out. A lot of these cats are nowadays have taken the word like out of every single punch and have found different ways to flip their words. 
conceded. We respect you. But dog, what? You can't, you cannot sit there and say that Av can't rock with you. I'm so, I, I'm picking up everything you putting down, but I'm not jacking that. And I'm gone. Y'all niggas let me know what y'all think. 100. Gang.